Hello, welcome back to Engineering Sound. In this video tutorial, I will explain how to draw a quick alignment and alignments reports. So this video is very important for civil engineering student and also for the beginners. So please don't forget to press like button and share. I will be very thankful to you. You just need a one second to do it. So let's start the video. First of all, we will import the points okay go to this tab select this one point creation tools from this option let's click on this button and import your csv or txt file here okay okay this is my file let's select the format in which format is your point you must should to select the same format my format is point sting northing and elevation if you select the wrong one so your everything will be go in the wrong way you must should to check before import your files here is point sting northing and elevation so you must should to select be careful to select the correct format okay let's press z space bar and space bar okay here is our points you can change the point styles before uploading or after when you upload you can go to the point group and you can select and also you can change from here but when you not import before yet okay let's select the point style from here and you can change from this option okay but we imported already now we will go to the point group and point properties here is all points go to the properties option from here you can see just click on this edit and here you can select any type and here is the size of your point you can select from here and if you go to the display option you can change the color your point from here okay select this one and click ok button okay go let's select this one apply and okay from here you can show any kind of label on your point suppose we need to show elevation and description you can see here it's already displayed let's increase uh, the size of your point so you can see it easily and it will be uh, very clear i'm increasing uh, decreasing sorry i'm decreasing the size of the point from here okay we no, now we will create the surface on the same for the same points and we will upload the points let's give the name ngl suppose and from here you can select the style of your surface suppose one meter and five meter and click okay okay now your surface is ready this is your surface ngl now you need to go to the definitions and go to the points groups from here and add your point right click okay this one is the point group and click on right okay click right and add add and select this one apply and okay now you can see your surface is created successfully and you can change your contour style from the edit surface style let's go to the contours option from here contours interval you can change it to 0.5 the measure will be changed automatically and from here you can change the smoothing from here you need to select the true options and now you can make it smooth I click on ok button now now your contour is ready let's off the labels go to the properties and off the labels we don't need the labels okay click ok now your label is turn off okay and also you can uh, if you need elevation grid uh, contour intervals you can select this from here just this is for your information you can draw it if you select from here you can draw it from here the options so we don't need to draw this one let's the important things uh, let me show you uh, okay so let's leave this one let me show you the contour intervals it, it is important to draw on the contours so it will be help you in the future just select the contours option and uh, go to the label from here okay let's come to this option contour multiple at interval 
let's select the first point click here suppose we need from here to straight away from this option now you need to enter uh, the interval how much you need and 10 meters 50 meters 100 meter it's depend on your requirement just click and enter now you can see it's automatically you can see this here is the interval points level is displayed now successfully okay so this is the basic things uh, if you need uh, to a lot of information you can see my previous videos there is complete autocad trainings playlist in my this uh, youtube channel let's we need to create alignment quick alignment let's go to the alignment option and create alignment and from here you can select uh, any kind which one you need so we will keep it as a basic and a propose propose one is good if you need labels any kind of labels you can select from here so we need to keep it all labels it's okay and from here if you come here here is the op three options you can select one of them as per your requirement so let's select the this one tangent with curve so let's select this one option and select your alignment where you want to post your way roads or anything you can select the element from here let's click okay click and press the enter button now your alignment is successfully created so we need to do some changing i want to show how you can edit the labels how you can change the interval i go to right click and here is alignment properties in the alignment properties you can see a lot of information you can change it also and here is the style you can go to the style design marker display summary here you can change the colors okay and here you need to select we need to go to the alignment geometry this is the geometry you can select this all option if you need this with the details you can go to my previous video the complete playlist is there autocad trainings there is everything i already described with detail this is a quick video tutorial if you want to change this uh in the station distance intervals you can change from here this is on 20 20 meters suppose we need this on 10 10 you can select here major station 10 meters so it will be changed automatically and the uh, major tick uh, will be on 5 meter let's check it now it's 90 100 100 if you want this on 5 meter you can also uh, change it okay let's keep it five and click apply and okay you will see now now is and five five meter but the best thing is which people is usually using usually 20 and 25 sometimes maybe 15 meters uh, let's keep it 20 meters the standard one let's keep and apply okay now it's on uh, 20 20 meters okay so the next we will create reports for this alignment it's very important for the engineering students the university professor is usually need from them the reports like these things let's go to the alignment option report manager then you need to go to the alignment option from here you can select alignment curve alignment design as per your requirement any report you can create as your professor is told to you just alignment curve or alignment design criteria verification anything you can select just select right click and execute and you can create this one but this one is need to select the start points and end points we don't need to do this one let's let's go to the another one option uh yeah, forget this one okay go to uh, PI station report you can this one alignment curve just execute this one alignment the first one click on ok where you need to save so locate your location and it will be boom it's created already let's take nothing and you can see here let's see this one here you can put your company names everything address names everything and you can keep it just keep the borders like making beautiful lines and you can uh, change it it's editable so you can put it this as you can make it pretty good and beautiful look so you can do it by yourself i don't need to explain this because i know you are very well you are very good in excel yeah it's okay let's leave with this one as same it is and now you can uh, let's try on the second one do this one right click and execute create report we will see boom here is your report you can see you can copy it this one is go to the web you can copy it and you can paste in excel word 
then i know you are very good you can do it by self how to make a pretty good design okay uh, let's do it by yourself you can do it this very good okay so i hope guys you enjoy this tutorials we will be seeing the next tutorial and the next tutorial i'm going to explain a quick profile reports so you can be able to do this thing for university or for the beginners guys it will be very important but don't forget to click like and share thank you bye bye take care